Do you ever get fed up of having to remember so many different passwords? Well, there's an alternative to passwords, and it's probably going to replace them. It's called a passkey. It's a different way that you can log into your accounts, and it will let you use your fingerprint, your face, or a pin code to log in instead. It's actually more secure than a password. Let me show you how it works. Using pass keys means you don't have to remember loads of different passwords. Your computer or your phone holds a set of digital keys. So think a bit like your house keys. And your device can use those keys to easily log you into different websites. But the best part is the keys are stored only on your computer or your phone. And if they get stolen, they're useless. They can't be guessed either. So it's much harder to hack than a password. Loads of websites let you log in with a passkey. I'm going to demonstrate using Google, but you could do this for your Microsoft account or Amazon, Apple, whatever. I'm using Windows for my demo, but the steps will be almost the same on a Mac. I'll mention what to expect at the time. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to log into my Google account as I do right now with a username and a password. And then I'm going to turn on passkeys. And then we're going to log in again and see the difference. So let's get started. So I type in my email address. Here we go. And then I hit next. And it's asked me for my password. So I'm going to paste that in. And then click next again. And then, hooray, we're in. OK, Chrome's offering to save it. Let's not do that. So that's me now logged in to my Google account. If you want to change the settings around security, you want to head to My Account. Now, I'm already there, but I'm going to show you how I got there. So you click on your profile picture in the top right, and then you go to Manage Your Google Account. Click on that, and that takes you to this page here. This is where you can change your personal information, things like your address, other email accounts, phone numbers, things like that. It's also where you can adjust your privacy preferences but it's also where you can configure your security settings. And that's what we want to do right now. So if I head over to security on the left hand side, okay, in here, you can adjust all of your security settings. So you could turn on or turn off two step verification. You can set up pass keys, you can change your password and you can adjust your recovery phone and email address. Now I've turned lots of the security features off just now, just to demo on this video, but things like two-step verification are definitely worth having turned on. But we're talking about pass keys today. So if I click on pass keys and security keys, okay. Now it's offering me to create a pass key on this device, the laptop that I'm on. So if I click on create a pass key, it brings up my Windows um, login prompt. It asks me for my laptop's PIN number. If I was on a Mac here, it would probably ask me to touch my fingerprint on the reader or type in my Apple password. But I'm on Windows, so it's asking for a PIN. You might do Windows Hello here too. So for the purposes of this video, my PIN is 1010. Okay, and that's it. The passkey is now set up. So what that means is I can use this to verify that it's really me when I try to log in next time. So let's show you what happens. If I log out. Okay, we're back here again. So here's my account. And interestingly, it hasn't gone straight to the password. It's saying you use your passkey to confirm that it's really you. What that means is it's recognized that I am on a device that has a passkey for this account. So my passkey only exists on this laptop. If I use another laptop, a phone, this wouldn't work. This is just for this laptop. So if I click continue, and then I use Windows Hello, which is the Windows login, and I use my PIN number again, 1010. I'm now logged into my Google account. Now you'll notice I didn't have to type in my password there. How is that secure? Well, it's secure because I still had to verify myself. One, I had to be using my own device. I was using my laptop. And also, I had to know my Windows password to get in. If someone tried to get to my account elsewhere, 
they would still need my Google password. They couldn't use my passkey. That's only on this laptop. So that's it. It's a really simple process. You go to your settings, you turn on passkeys, you verify that you know what to do, you hit go, and then next time you log in, much quicker. How did you get on? Have you got your passkey set up now? Let us know in the comments. Not all websites support passkeys quite yet. So in the meantime, you should keep your account safe and secure by using a strong password by using three random words. There's other security features you should use too, like two-factor authentication to keep the hackers out. We run courses and workshops on all things digital. To find out about upcoming events and join our newsletter, check out our website, digitalskillseducation.com.